All right, so I'm out for a quick overnight here. I'm actually out here at my sister's property, just south of town or west of town. And um, I'm trying out a couple of things. My, uh, I got a new pack and I uh, haven't seen a lot about uh, these packs on, on YouTube, but it's a Nashville pack company. Um, this will probably be my warm weather pack. So I loaded up everything that I would normally carry on a short trip in the warmer climate, warmer temperatures, say 50 and above, 55-ish and above. And everything fit fine in here. No problems, this is around 13 pounds with, with a night of, well, two meals, a breakfast and a, a dinner. So not a lot of food. Water, fuel, uh, extra clothes, just a lightweight uh, layer for the night if it got down into the 50s, so nothing super thick. Uh, so I'm trying that, but I hadn't hiked with it because I'm out here. I just drove out here to the to the property. But um, I did load everything in here, put it on. It fits really well. I don't really, I've only had this pack of like a week, so I really can't do a review of it because I hadn't really hiked with it. But so far, I like what I see. Uh, it's a Robic, 210 Robic nylon body. Um, the straps are kind of the vest style straps, real super soft, so I'm going to use it a little bit and then I'll tell you what I think about it. But it probably won't work for winter trips because it, it doesn't have the volume that I think I would need for my thicker quilts. So that's one thing I kind of loaded up to test. The other thing that I'm uh, trying out is I've got um, my, my Climashield Shield quilts. They're two and a half ounce per square yard Climashield Shield quilts that I made a while back. We've got the under quilt on the hammock over there, the top quilts here, and um, I'm giving them a shot tonight. This is the, uh, the top quilt, but they're, they're pretty thin, but the, uh, the low tonight is 48, which is supposed to hit 48 early a.m., like 5 a.m. or whatever. So it's going to be in the low 50s most of the night, and then hit uh, upper 40s right at the early dawn. So I'm trying these quilts out just to see. I have a feeling that uh, I may get chilly because they, 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 it may be a little bit. These may be more mid 50s, but we're going to try it and see. I've got my thicker quilts with me in case I need them, but I came out here to give that a shot tonight. And, all right, uh, so camp's all set up. Uh, got my war bonnet uh, Eldorado hammock set up under there with those uh, apex two and a half ounce apex quilts and then that's a tarp that I made that's a uh, what is that that's an argon a Dutch wear argon tarp I think or xenon one of them I can't remember it's a super lightweight tarp I've used it a time or two it's supposed to be pretty clear tonight uh, no no rain really but uh, maybe a little dew, but the cl clouds are supposed to be out of here and pretty clear sky, so it should be nice. But uh, this is my, my setup area, you can see. It's just, I just drove out here, it's super easy to get to. The airport here is actually about five miles that way, but it's a regional airport, so it should get quiet here uh, before too long. But uh, yeah, my sister, and her husband and their cousins recently bought the rest of this property. They owned everything that way. Uh, I think it was 11 acres they owned before. That's still all wooded there. But then they bought this other 15, I think, between the two of them, they split it and they've been clearing it. So that's why all the trees are gone here, or most of them at least. And so this is a great little place for me to to come out and do a little quick uh, overnight. It's only like 20 minutes from the house. And I'm kind of glad they left these trees right here. This is a perfect little spot. Uh, I hadn't been out here since they cleared it, but uh, that's gonna be a nice little spot for the night. So they're, uh, <laughs> they cleared it because they uh, both of them are pilots. So they're putting in a runway actually. So that's why they've got it cleared all the way up to the front of the property 
and so they're going to put in a little grass runway here because both of them fly and my uh, sister and her husband on the little flight school here outside of, of town and so airplanes are their thing so I just am uh, utilizing their property for a little camp spot for the night. Well good morning it's a, a beautiful sunny morning and I slept really well but I did get cold it was uh, let me check right, the temperature so it got down to 43 last night was the coldest that it got which was colder than I expected but uh, I woke up about midnight 12 15 a little, a little chilly and it was a uh, it was 47 degrees when I woke up so I can't say that I'm terribly surprised the uh, that two and a half ounce climate shield insulation really is not supposed to get you down into the 40s um, you know 50s mid 50s is is probably fine and I was fine when I went to bed I wasn't cold when I lay down I did have on uh, this uh, hooey fleece uh, hoodie fleece I had this on and a uh, another insulation lightweight insulated top um, so you know that helped some but I, I was fine when I laid down but it was 50 53 degrees when I went to bed and I did okay till around a little after midnight so not terribly surprised but it was a good test anyway just to see uh, if I could get down into that temperature range with those quilts but now I know that I can't so those will be dedicated to 50 let's say 55 and above for the uh, forecasted low of wherever I'm going to go I'll I'll take those in the in the warmer warmer weather you know late spring summer um, but otherwise I'll I'll stick with my, my other quilts I had my uh, underground quilt bandit top quilt and uh, uh, hammock gear Phoenix under quilt both of them are rated to 20 degrees so I got up and put those on and went back to sleep and was doing fine so they did great so I'm gonna have a quick breakfast here a little uh, coffee and some some uh, grits and pork sausage from Camp Chow it was a nice nice night you could probably hear the highway in the distance that's the only bad thing about here is uh, you know it got kind of quiet later in the evening but as soon as it was daylight highways moving out there so that's the only downside of, of sleeping out here is that uh, that highway noise comes in so otherwise it was a beautiful night clear no clouds no wind I had the tarp set up in porch mode so uh, it was a super bright moon really full you know I could see really well watch the moon rise over that way and work across the sky so it was a really nice night to just sit out and enjoy a little small fire and uh, enjoy the, the evening so hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something if you got a climate shield 2.5 ounce climate shield quilt wouldn't trust it below 50s mid 50s all right y'all have a good day